This is Gary Schnitke, and this is a five-minute Farm Doc Daily dealing with high 2021 projected returns for both corn and soybeans. WASDE, the World Agricultural Supply Demand Elasticity Report, came out for the first time in May with its 2021 estimates. In that report, the U.S. Office of Chief Economist pr- provided their projections of corn supply and demand, soybean supply and demand, and based on that, they came up with their estimate for the 2021 market year average price for both corn and soybeans. Their estimate for corn was 570, and that would be for the 2021 market year, which would be t- c- capturing the price for Crop produced in 2021, 570 for corn, 1385 for soybeans. 570, if that happens for 2021, will be the third highest price on record. 622 was a price in 2011, and the highest price was 689 in the drought year of 2012. 1385 will be the second highest on history, and the first highest was in 1440 in 2012. So if we're looking at those prices, both of those are high relative to historical standpoint. Based on those prices, we projected crop revenue for corn and soybeans in central Illinois on high productivity farmland and came out with an estimate of $1,237 per acre. And that was based on that 570 price and a yield of 218 bushels per acre. That yield estimate is the trend line yield. So that resulted in $1,237 of crop revenue for 2021. And that also happened to be the gross revenue for 2021 from Corn Acre. And that is the highest projected price if that would happen ever. Our next highest price happened in 2012 when we had $1,192 of revenue. And that $1,192 of revenue included substantial amounts of crop insurance payments. That revenue would also exceed revenue in 2019 and 2020 when gross revenue was $893 in 2019 and $1,071 in 2020. So 2021 revenue for corn would be the highest projected in history. Similarly, for soybeans, we projected gross revenue for soybeans at $942 per acre. That's based on that pr- the, the price used to projected by WASD and a 68 bushel per acre soybean yield. That, again, is the trend line. That's the highest gross revenue in history, and it would exceed last year's revenue, which was the second highest revenue of $855 of gross revenue per acre. That $855 of gross revenue was composed of $810 of crop revenue and $45 of CFAT payments. So both corn and soybeans are projected at high levels and that also results in a high projection of operator and land returns. Operator and land returns are what can be split between the farmer and landowner. It is gross revenue minus non-land cost. We came up with an estimate of $657 per acre for corn, $547 for soybeans. Again, both corn and soybean would be at record levels. That would also exceed our cash rent and provide fairly good income, net income for farmers for 2021. At this point in time, given the price projections that we see, as well as a trend line yield estimate, we come up with an optimistic outlook. Obviously, there can still be a lot that happens between now and fall or when, when, we, when we actually set revenue. There could be negative surprises and positive surprises. However, if we see an optimistic or close to that that scenario occurring by fall, August and September, September, we can see in the upcoming several issues. 
One is we will see upward pressure on cash rent and input prices and cost. That typically happens when we have good operator and land returns. We will also likely see upward pressure on farmland prices, and then that will lead then to questions of how long um, high, higher commodity prices will last. Will we go back to prices below $4 for corn and $9 for soybeans, or will we reach a higher level? All those will be answered in the future, and right now it's just uh, probably best to focus on the fact that uh, we have a growing season ahead of us, but it does look like we will have the chance to build financial position on Illinois farms. You can read more about this in our, late, our Farm Doc Daily, which is linked in the description to this video.